hi guys welcome to my channel i'm yinke and today i'll be showing you how to make a 3d applique like the one you're seeing on the screen and uh, this type of applique is something you can create yourself and to make a simple uh, dress to look more beautiful so here is the sample of the one that i just made so what well, you're starting from the pattern so you can there's no standard for the pattern you can make any pattern of yours but as for me i'm making a leaf like pattern a pattern that looks like a leaf so i just cut a leaf and i'm tracing it out so you can make it as big or as small as you want it so this is the size that i want so i'm using this size to cut out several patterns so you can cut out as many patterns as you want but you just need a sample to be able to cut it out on your on on your fabric so the materials needed are displayed on the screen you need your organza material or any choice of fabric you need your crinoline net this is the white one and you need your gum you need your hemming gum you need your the pattern that you use to create it you need your glue gun and this is the hot glue so I think the hot glue is the best because it sticks easily and you need your copper wire this copper wire is 0 0.5 mm and uh, you can use 1 mm depending on how strong you want it to be so this is my copper wire and uh, i'm going to be cutting it piece in pieces so here is my crinoline net the crinoline net will come in the middle of the two fabric so crinoline net will come in the middle so this crinoline net will be placed like so so the means that i'm going to use what i will use to attach the crinoline net to the fabric is my hemming hemming gum so i'm going to place my hemming gum in strips like this this hemming gum comes in sizes you can see the one that the width is bigger than this but as for today's tutorial this is what we'll be using and so after you have placed your hemming gum you are going to place your fabric on it like so and uh, play iron it carefully until the hemming gum is dissolved that it disappeared and you cannot see the hemming gum again so the best ironing is steam ironing use a steam iron to press it in such a way that it will it's just a gradual process by the time you hang on it it will dissolve with time so the other side is what i will now put another aiming gum so i'll just lay aiming gum on the other side also so the what i did the other time is what i'm repeating here so and i will now put the piece of fabric i'll just place the fabric like this then iron it also that means in the middle of two fabrics we can find the crinoline net is in the middle of the two fabrics i hope you understand so what we are doing here is called lamination we are trying to laminate the fabric in such a way that the fabric will be will be strong and uh, not just add but a kind of strength it will have is it will be flexible so another way you can do it is to remove the crinoline net you your crinoline net is not compulsory but it is necessary if you want a better structure so what i'm doing here is the one that does not have a crinoline this one i want to create here does not have a crinoline this is a crinoline net i'm showing you i've shown you in the beginning of the tutorial so this one does not have a crinoline net it's just two pieces of fabric that i'm putting them in gum in between so crinoline net is essential because even if you don't have a copper wire a crinoline net will do a good job so, but a copper wire is just for you to 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 curve to have that 3d effect so but if you don't have a copper wire like the design you saw on the screen the the, the picture i i put on the screen it's it's very it's possible to achieve that with a crinoline net alone so i'm going to place this like so so you might have been seeing this or when you when when you don't have a crinoline net, you can still go for this, such that you will be able to create whatever you want to create, though you don't have a crinoline net. So you can just stick two pieces of fabric together like so, and if you want it to be more, uh, more more, to have more strength, you can you can triple the fabric, so that it will have more strength. 
So, but what you use to gum everything together is your aiming gum. So, I'll just trim it out like so. I'll trim it out like so. So, you can be seeing that. So, this is, after cutting it out, this is what I have. This is what I have. So, I made this tutorial on uh, two locations. You can be seeing a brown table and a black table. I made one that has a crinoline net and I made one that does not have a crinoline net. But I have matched the two tutorials together. We are still talking about the same thing in the tutorial. So I'll be showing you how to attach all this. Um, this is our cup chain. This cup chain is uh, a low. It, it's a low budget cup chain. It's a low budget chain. It's, it's not just. It looks like a cup chain, but it's it's like a trimmings. It's like a trimmings. It has a, 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 a dry gum underneath. So you're going to cut it out carefully. So here use your candlelight to burn the edges so as to prevent it from freeing so and that's what i do here after you have done that the next thing to do is to get your glue gun or use your fabric gum so in one of the tutorials i use a fabric gum i use my fabric gum but i noticed that the fabric gum does not stick quickly and it's it makes the work not not fast and not neat enough that's why I prefer to use this is my hot glue. So I think hot glue is, is fastest and it's quick. So and it's neat. That's why I, I prefer I would advise you to use a hot glue. Just be very careful that you do not pour much on it. So you just put small and then be very quick about it. So I'm going to place my cup chain like so so this is just not i can't call this cup chain it's just an imitation of cup chain so it's a low budget chain that you can still use if you don't have the money to buy a cup chain so like this it has a stone also and um, you can it's it's very cheap so you can use a uh, like in nigeria 1000 naira for a design that i'm using that i want to do like this a 1000 naira trimmings of a cup chain you can use it to make this type of design on your clothes so this is my copper wire i'll cut the copper wire and uh, i'm going to put glue where i want to place the copper wire so i'll go ahead and put glue here so i'll go ahead and put glue here so then i'll place in fact it's very easy to use your hot glue to place your copper wire if you are using ordinary fabric gum it makes your work messy so that's why I would prefer you go for hot glue. So after I've done that, then I'll place another one because on that uh, copper wire, I'll be, uh, I'll be placing another uh, cup chain. So uh, it's not compulsory you place a copper wire in the middle if you are not, if you don't want a 3D effect, you do, it's not compulsory. Like the one I show you on the screen, that uh, sky blue, design if you don't want it to be bending like this you just want it to come sweet just put a crinoline net and you're done so this is we have this is what we have created and uh, you can see it's very beautiful it's very very beautiful these ones i use gum to glue it i use fabric gum so that's why i told you i did like two tutorials it's a two tutorial in one it, the one you use a glue gun a hot glue I, what, I, what i mean a hot glue and the one that i use a fabric gum so this is a fabric gum so i have told you the disadvantage of using a fabric gum it does not glue easily you need to wait for it to for the gum to to dry a little before you place your cup chain so that it will stick like you just give it some minutes to stick you give your gum some minutes to stick before you begin to place your cup chain and even if you want to place your copper wire you also need to give when you put your glue on the on where you want to place it you need to wait for some minutes like let air just enter so that it will be sticky a little then that is when you can put it so after i have done that this is what i have it works also if you don't have a, a hot glue it also works it works so it works if you can be patient so you can see this one that has a Cleaning net, how, how, how beautiful it is.
So here is where I use my glue, um, the fabric glue to place my copper wire. So here it was not easy to place this, but it's because it's a video. That's why I have edited the part that is messy. But it's not easy to use your fabric gum to place your copper wire. So that, that is why I will advise you to use your hot glue. But if you don't have hot glue, you will still go for this. You know, at the end of the day, it still works. So when, if you can be patient, it can, it can work. It can work. Just be patient with it. Give it time to, when you place the gum, give it time to be sticky a little. Then you place whatever you want to place. So like I told you, your pearls, you can design with pearls or crystal stones. So I have some crystal stones here. So um, it, I'm going to place the crystal stones on the design like so. So I'm using my hot glue to do that. So you just place small and uh, you make it a little. So uh here from my experience i would prefer to use a fabric gum because a fabric gum is more neat it's neater than using a hot glue so but here i use a hot glue so if you use a fabric gum you need to be patient with your fabric gum before you place it and your fabric gum will give you a neater look so after i have done that but if you can be very neat with your hot glue also it's fine so after i've done that you can see how beautiful it is then uh, we are the next thing to do is to attach everything i have created together with my nylon thread this is an, a kind of invisible thread so this is how it's it comes in different uh, um, capacity you can get the bigger one you can and it comes in different width so but this one is uh, I think I this this is the tiniest width. So I got this and I'm going to use it to attach the leaves together. I will use it to attach it together. All the all, all what I've created, I will use it to attach it together. This is the time you're going to create the design. The design, there's no standard for any design. So while you are attaching, while you are placing this, you just look at it and see how it comes out. It comes out fine. Then you go ahead and attach. So, and it depends on the type of design you want to make. So there are different designs you can make with this type of um, applique. So after I have done that, I will knot it just like you are attacking with your normal thread. So this is what I have. This is what I, you can see. It's very beautiful. This, see the way I'm bending it. And this is the work of the copper wire. Without the copper wire there, you cannot bend it like this. It won't give it a 3D structure like this. This 3D effect is due to the copper wire that is inside. And uh, we have almost come to the end of the tutorial. So the uh, extreme edge here, you can put any design. You can put your uh, flower trimmings there to cover that. Or you can still leave it like that. It's not bad. See what I created again. You can create any design of yours, any design at all. And I'm putting like a pair, like a rose in, in the middle. So this is something I created with my with, with a wire, with a copper wire. So it's just like a wire work. I created this myself also, and I can show you the tutorial of how I made this. So I'm going to put the link to this tutorial in the description box so that you can you will be able to watch how to make a. Uh, all these designs with your copper wire so there are a lot of things you can make by with by by yourself with using all this uh, copper wire and all these spells so we've come to the end of the tutorial then we'll see you in my next tutorial